Hey there, my friend. Welcome to today's video. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Mother Project, and my team and I have prepared an amazing resistance band leg workout for women for you today in this video. So this workout is kick butt, and the beautiful thing is all you need is one of these stretch resistance bands. Um, and we're gonna be doing five amazing exercises with this resistance band in a circuit fashion. This is gonna help you tone up your legs, build strength, and it's so convenient because you don't need a lot of equipment. And at the time of shooting this, we're all going through this COVID pandemic lockdown situation, so we don't all have access to the gym. Or maybe you're just at home right now and you prefer to work out with a resistance band because you know they're great for your glutes and your legs. Well, I'm gonna show you five of the best exercises and how to do these in a simple circuit. So in just a moment, I'm gonna hop behind me in the gym. You're gonna see me demo this exercise and this workout with all the key form points. So you're gonna be well on your way to trying this this week. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a banded squat. Um, squat, uh, the bands are gonna be around the knees, which is gonna force those glutes to be active. And we're gonna do some squats for one minute. And what's unique about this particular workout is we're gonna do it for time. And because over time, I just wanna make sure when we're using resistance bands that you're getting a lot of time under tension. This is a concept in strength training called TUT time under tension. And resistance bands are great, but we wanna make sure that you're getting lots of quality reps. So as many reps as you can do in one minute, and then we're gonna move on to exercise number two, which is a banded good morning. And a good morning is a hip hinge where the bands around our legs and we're hip hinging forward, that activates the glutes and the hamstrings. It is absolutely incredible. I'll show you exactly how to do that. Again, we're gonna do that for one minute. Then we're gonna move on to a band deadlift. So we're gonna put the band around our feet and we're gonna do a deadlift motion, which again is great for the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the core, everything. We're gonna do one minute on those. And then we're gonna move into a standing abduction. So one of the functions of the glutes is to abduct, which basically means moving your legs out away from midline. So it's basically lifting one of these legs, moving it out away, and that's gonna activate that glute. We're gonna do 10 to 15 reps each side. Then we have a really cool burnout I'm gonna show you uh, in when we get back to the gym. And the final one is a glute bridge with the band. So this is the workout. You can do this whole cycle of exercises and I'd say around seven minutes or so, and you can repeat it three times for a 21 minute workout that's totally kick butt. And I would suggest that you do this session maybe once on Monday or Tuesday, and then you do it later in the week on Thursday and Friday, because this workout um, is going to stimulate that, that lean muscle growth that you really want and you're looking for and the strength, but you want to make sure you give yourself like two pulses of this workout each week. So let's hop behind the gym. Let's go through this uh, one set of each of these exercises, and we'll get you on your way to doing this amazing resistance band leg workout. All right, so let's get into today's resistance band leg workout for women. What we need to start this workout um, is at least one resistance band. So I'm using a small loop resistance band like here, um, one we tied together because it was just a single strand, but you've probably seen those sets that come in the different colors. That would be great if you can get a set with many different types of bands. Um, and we also have a big thick band that we'll be using for the deadlift, although you can use the small bands as well. Um, and that's what we're gonna need. And I also think as a little accessory, as we're gonna see having a little ball are, um, like this. this is just a, a wood stick. You can use a broomstick as well. It's going to be great for the squats and the good mornings and some of the balancing we're going to do in exercise number four. So let's get straight into it. Our first exercise on this list is a banded squat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the small band um, right here and we're going to loop it around the feet just like this. And you can put it in a number of different positions. I'm going to put my band a little higher up so it's right below the knee, right below the knee, just like this, nice and flat. And we're gonna take a step out. Now what this band does is it's trying to bring your legs in. This forces your glutes to turn out and be active. So I want you to actually get your feet slightly angled out, feel like you're activating those glutes. And then from here, we're gonna put the timer on your watch or on your phone for one minute. We're gonna do squats. So you can have your hands here. We're gonna squat down, right on up. Feel those glutes stay active, just like this. Hands can be out front. They could be on your head, but on the squat, I want you to feel that you're sitting back into a chair when your chest stays up just like this. That's what works those glutes. Now, if you do have a broomstick or something like this, totally fine to put it back here and simulate a barbell squat. You do this for one minute, your glutes are gonna be on fire. So we'll keep on going a couple more quality reps. Again, forcing those knees out. What's gonna wanna happen as you get tired is this right here. Those knees are gonna wanna come in like this. I want you to force them out as you come down and make sure they're just like this. So one minute of banded squats. Catch your breath, moving on to the second exercise, which is a banded good morning. So a couple of the key foundational, this is like workout philosophy. Squatting, obviously good for the legs. Hip hinging, where we hinge from the hip, 
is amazing for the legs, particularly the glutes and the hammies. This is our second exercise, the good morning, but bands is our hip hinging motion. So we're gonna take our balance bar, we're gonna put it behind our back here, same position on the band. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shift the hips back, just like this, squeeze through, squeeze the glutes at the top. Come down, push the hips back, squeeze the glutes on top. Down, hips back, we're doing this for one minute. Notice how what I'm not doing is this. This starts to look like a squat. What I'm doing is shifting the hips back, slight bend in the legs, but this is what's giving us that proper good morning. And if you want a little cue, something you can do is put a wall behind you and make sure as your butt comes back, touches that wall, and you fire through and squeeze your glutes hard at the top. That's how you do a banded good morning. Now, if you do not have one of these bars, no fret. Just hug yourself just like this. Shift your hips back, fire on through. So one minute of the banded good mornings, then we'll catch our breath and move as quickly as we can to our third exercise, the banded deadlift. Now, this is an exercise where I'm gonna change bands um, because of my height, it's a little better for me to have a bigger band, but you can still use that same small band you were using. For the banded deadlift, what we're gonna do is actually put the feet right here on the inside of the band, spread this out just like this, and we're gonna grab it right up here, and we're gonna deadlift up and right on down. Come down, pause, pause at the bottom for a second, fire right on up. So from the side, looks like this. Coming down, pause at the bottom, Strong contraction up, squeeze, squeeze your arms, squeeze your glutes, fire those hips through, squeeze that butt at the top. Again, we're doing this for one minute. Each rep I'm doing, notice my tempo. I'm going like one, two, three, pause, fire. One, two, three, pause, fire. So each rep's taking around five seconds. So I should be getting anywhere from, let's just say 10 to 15 reps, depending on rep tempo. So we're doing these banded deadlifts for one minute. I'm doing them a little more in the stiff variety. You can do a little more bend if you want, but I think doing them a little more stiff like this is best. Now, our fourth exercise is banded abduction. So as I mentioned in the intro, abduction means we're moving this glute away from midline here. This action, those small glute muscles, not the glute max, but the glute, glute medius and minimus, these smaller glute muscles are required to do this motion. So we're gonna do that, except we're gonna use a band. So I'm gonna use that same band that I had before. If you do have a set of multicolored bands, this would be the exercise to get an easier band, a lighter band with less resistance, because it's very challenging. Now, I'm gonna pop this down. We're gonna put it low on the ankles for this one. I like, for the purposes of a balance, this would be a nice time to have your stick where you can put it on your side. What I want you to do is take this top foot, internally rotate it just a little bit. So boom, this is internal rotation. We want an external rotation on those squats, slight internal rotation. Now from here, brace your core nice like this, and we're gonna do a little pulse like this at the top, bring it on in. We're gonna do 10 to 15 reps each side. At the top, I want you to pause. I find it very helpful to put my hand on my glute to feel these little muscles right here firing. That's when you know you got a great contraction. Push, 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 hold, right on down. Push, 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 hold, right on down. Again, 10 to 15 reps each side. The reason I like the standing version better than one you might see when you're lying down is because this glute is also working. Although I'm doing the abduction with my left leg, my right leg has to be very active to stabilize. So I'm gonna do one set that side, 10 to 15. Switch my st stick, but again, if you have great balance, you don't need the stick, that's fine, you don't need the stick. Um, you can just drop that right here. Then we're gonna get that core tight. We're gonna do the other side. Again, slight internal rotation with that foot. We're coming up, pause, right on down. Fire up, pause, slowly down. Again, 10 to 15 reps. So we'll 10 on one, 12. 13, 14, and 15. When we're done, we're gonna immediately hop down. So I just did my right leg on the abduction. So I'm gonna put my right leg on the floor like this. And now we're gonna use that left leg again, that leg we started with, and we're gonna do a burnout um, with the lying version of this. So the first thing, the, the band's in the same position. Glute comes up, it shifts back just a little bit. So notice how my hips are stacked. Glute shifts back, internally rotates. Now we're gonna do these pulses. 
until burnout. So I just want you to pulse like this. We started with the left leg standing, so we're gonna start with the left leg here. You're gonna pulse until you hit failure, and when you do, roll over. Other side, stack the hips. Top leg comes back. A slight internal rotation, pump right up here. Pump that glute, squeeze. Focus all your, your conscious attention on this area just right here, and when you're done to failure, you're done. We're gonna move on to our final exercise, which is a banded glute bridge. So we're gonna get into a glute bridge position. We're gonna bring that thing, the band, up around the knee area. We're gonna get this wide stance just like this. Shoulder blades are underneath. Hands are on the floor just like this. Now we're gonna push those legs out. Remember that gets that, those glutes activated here. And we're gonna fire up and pause. Control down, touch, fire. One, two, pause, fire. One, two, pause, fire. And again, we're doing this one for one minute. So I want constant tension. I want you to squeeze your glutes the entire time. Entire time, keep it moving. Like, it's almost like one continuous rep for one minute. Your glutes are gonna be on fire. And this is also great for your hamstrings. It's great for your abs. We're gonna keep on going for one full minute. So we'll pretend the minute is over and I am done. So at this point, I roll up, take the band off, catch my breath, and now I can begin the cycle again. If you wanna do another full round of those five exercises, do it again. When you complete it, you can do it again for around a 20 minute workout, or this could be just one seven minute circuit. Absolutely amazing. These are truly the best glute and leg and hamstring exercises using a resistance band. And again, we're doing the foundational stuff. Squats, good mornings, deadlifts, abductions, glute bridges. These are the things that are really gonna give you the best bang for your buck. And as you get stronger, use heavier bands. Use more resistance. That's what's gonna stimulate your muscles to grow, to respond, and to improve. So I hope you found this valuable. Um, it's a really simple and effective uh, resistance band workout. Go forth and do this, I'd say again, twice per week. Do it one day, rest around three, four days. Do it again, track your progress, see how many reps you get in that minute, and as you get stronger, use a heavier band. And so this is a really, really effective form of exercise. And if this is your first time here at our Fit Mother Project YouTube channel, or you've been watching our videos for some time, and you're not subscribed, hit that subscription button below. We literally have hundreds of videos across our Fit Mother and Fit Father Project channels on great workouts like this, but also nutrition, how to get and stay motivated, how to get your family healthy too. And if you want the most effective workout that only involves a pair of dumbbells or kettlebells and gives you a few more options in the resistance band, then scroll below in the description, and you can check the comment below where we're gonna give you our free Fit Mom Jumpstart that gives you our, our dumbbell workout. It requires 24 minutes around five feet of floor space. It's by far the best thing you can do to boost your metabolism. Um, and it pairs well with this resistance band leg workout. We'll also send you our Fit Mom meal plan and our motivation guide. We'll send that straight to your email. We are the Fit Mother Project, the health and fitness experts for busy moms, particularly those in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. Thanks for being around our channel, my friends. Subscribe, check out the comment in the description below for those free resources. We'll see you around the channel. I'll talk to you very soon.